Okay, well, hello everybody. Laura Trotty here, and thank you so much for joining me on this webinar where I'll take you through the process of how to detox and simplify your cleaning with essential oils. Now, before we get started, I just want to check that everything is working okay because these programs, you know, they're renowned for having glitches. So if you could please just type in the text box on the right of your screen if you can hear me, that would be great. Thanks. Now you're in for a real treat right now as I plan to share some of my best secrets on detoxing and simplifying your cleaning with essential oils. Now some of these tips you may have heard me go on about before, but others will be completely new to you. And regardless, I know you're going to love it and I'm sure you'll have several friends that will love it too. So in the text box, I've pasted the link to this webinar. I'd love if you could just take a moment to share it on your Facebook or Twitter profile right now and tell your friends that you're here with me and that they're all invited to. That'd be great. Okay, so just a little bit of housekeeping before we start too. The text box is open throughout this webinar so you can type any questions or comments in here and I'll make sure I get to as many of these in the question and answer section towards the end of the webinar and I'll also try and keep my, my eyes on it as I go through as well but I've got three screens happening so it's sometimes a little bit tricky. Okay, so I also need to tell you that there's about a 30 second delay between what I say and what you hear. So if you do type something, there will be naturally be this delay and more before I respond. So please don't think I'm avoiding your question or anything. I will get to you. Okay, so now I just want to double check if you can hear me and I'll just take a quick look in the chat room. Yay, everyone can hear. That's great. Awesome, loud and clear. This is good. With We've got quite a few people here tonight. Obviously, everyone's got their kids in bed and I'll be really honest with you and tell you that mine aren't. I've got um, the door to the back end of the house closed and husband is down there, my ever-loving husband, trying to keep the two boys um, quiet because they know that something's going on. Okay, so this is what I'll cover in this webinar. Firstly, I'll give an introduction to essential oils and why basically why I think they're essential. Secondly, I'll share the four must-have essential oils for your home cleaning routine and some of my best tips for how to use them. Now, bear in mind, I use quite a, you know, quite a large range of essential oils and I do use more, more than the four that I cover tonight, but I just wanted to show you my four favourite ones because I really, um, I take them everywhere. If I leave town, I bring them with me and um, they're fantastic. Thirdly, I'll tell you why oils ain't oils. Sorry, that's secondly, sorry. And basically that the quality difference between different essential oil brands and why I choose to use therapeutic grade essential oils and what this exactly means. I'll then announce a special offer to those of you who really want to fast track your journey to a chemical free home and plus your chance to receive a free gift if you are attending this webinar live tonight. And lastly, I'll answer any questions you have about using essential oils in your home cleaning routine. Okay, so before we dive in, I wanted to introduce myself to you because I know that there are some of you on the call tonight that have only just, you know, recently um, found out about me in the last couple of days. So you really have no idea who I am. So I just wanted to put your mind at rest and, let, you know, just tell you what this, you know, you might be thinking, what this, does this girl know about chemicals and what do I really know about cleaning and running a household and using essential oils and blah, blah, blah. You know, what do I know all about it? About all this? Well, I just want to put your mind at ease and tell you a little bit about my background and my story. So some of you, particularly those of you who completed my Home Detox video series that I have out at the moment, will be familiar with my story, but I do just want to go through it quickly again for the newbies. So I started studying environmental engineering um, 20 years ago. I know I'm starting to sound old. <laughs> 20 years ago this year and I commenced my career working at a large zinc smelter in Tasmania. I was responsible for monitoring the impact of the 100 year old smelters activities on the environment and surrounding community. And I learned an awful lot about chemicals in this job and how they impacted not only the environment and the surrounding community, because this smelter was flat bang, you know, five kilometres from the CBD of Hobart, but also on people's health. So people that worked at the smelter and who live nearby as well. So after working at the smelter, I transferred to a brand new zinc and lead mine in remote northwest Queensland, where I worked for four years alongside Indigenous Australians to ensure that the operation 300 kilometre slurry pipeline and the port and shipping operations up in the Gulf of Carpentaria 
operated well within their environmental obligations. And it was during this time that I started studying my Masters of Science degree in environmental chemistry. I'm a real sucker for punishment, I know. And um, yeah, I was specialising in the way that waste rock from the mine was breaking down in the environment and impacting local surface and groundwater quality in the, you know, in the creeks and groundwater nearby. And during this time, I was working excessive hours on a really long fly and fly out roster and I was suffering from chronic migraines. So to improve my health, I started to eat clean and organic foods. And, and that was quite hard because when I was at the mine, you know, we had to live in a mess facility in a camp, but I would actually bring my foods in with me um, and, and do, do as much of my own prep as I could. So I'd, I started to eat clean organic foods and I switched to a vegetarian diet. I gave up I gave up Diet Coke, I know, it's really embarrassing, but I was, um, this is like about 16 years ago, I was addicted <laughs> and, um, and I replaced chemicals in my home and in my, my living environment, Donger at the camp, with safe and natural alternatives. I was desperate, you know, these, I was getting migraines on a weekly basis, so pretty much I'd work, fly in at 4am on a Monday morning, so I'd be getting up at 3am Monday, working a 12 hour day and I'd be out at mine for five days and flying in back in on a Friday night and I'd be spending my entire weekend in, in a cold, cold, dark room with a, room with a migraine and um, after a while it started to encroach on my work days as well. So I was desperate, um, these migraines were really taking control of my life. So I actually, I made those changes and I started to reduce my migraine frequency from at least weekly and and nowadays it's around about annually, but of course that's taken a little while to get there. And I started to reclaim my quality of life. Okay, I'm going on a bit here, but anyway, 10 years ago I left Queensland. I joined my future husband in Outback Australia where I still live and I accepted a senior environmental engineering role at the large Olympic Dam Mine and Processing Plant. And I worked here for five years, completed my Masters of Science thesis and I volunteered as a home sustainability auditor in my local community and was on the local environment forum as well. And it was in this volunteer capacity where I developed a real passion for helping everyday people with no environmental background at all to live more sustainably. So it was around about this time I married my obviously boyfriend at the time and we fiance and we started trying for a family. Now we were both still working really long hours in the minerals industry at the now at the largest industrial site in Australia. And despite our clean diet and healthy home, conceiving didn't come easy to us. Um, we had a few bumps and ups and downs in the journey. Um, and I'm not going to go into here, but it was um, quite a um, distressing time for us. Anyway, so when it finally did come, um, I found it extremely difficult working at an industrial site where most of the processing areas were off limits to pregnant women. It was just really hard to get my projects done. And also, I won't beat around the bush, working as a female engineer in a male-dominated environment was also very tough at this time. And while I could work as long and as hard as my colleagues before, it was a different story now that I had our much longed for baby growing inside me. And as I'd mentioned over the years, I'd removed and replaced pretty much all the commercial cleaning products in our home with natural alternatives. But for some reason, I was still hanging onto bleach to clean our shower. And um, I guess one day while pregnant, doing a bit of nesting, I was um, cleaning the shower and I was just so overcome with fumes, I had to stop before I fainted. So I had a raging headache and yeah, just had to stop. And it wasn't the only headache, some of my migraines of the past were returning and I was, you know, so I guess a bit more stress induced and I was pretty miserable. Um, I quickly realised I didn't want to go back to the corporate world and I wanted to look after my baby and make a difference at a grassroots level by helping people, particularly mums, live more sustainably. So I guess five and a half years ago now, while 28 weeks pregnant with my first baby, I registered my new, and it's now a multi-award biz, um, winning business sustainer baby, and started working to create an online eco-parenting resource and business where I could share my passion for eco-living with other parents while caring for my young family. I also banished bleach from my home for good and fully embraced essential oils in my home. And I even signed up as a distributor for an essential oil company. So before this time, I'd only really used a peppermint oil to help with my migraines and some lavender for relaxation, but I quickly learned how to use essential oils for all different purposes in my home. And I can also happily tell you today that my life is no longer dominated by my migraines. A home has also been free of synthetic chemicals for years now. And with the help of essential oils, I've not only improved the health of our family, but um, it's also helped up helped us to break up with some of those last couple of nasty chemical products such as the bleach and some pest control items for good. 
Okay, so in addition to managing Sustainer Baby, um, I've also been in the process of launching my eco-living website, which is just going to be lauratrotter.com later this year. And I now have two established eco-living courses, the Greenhouse Home Energy Blitz, which focuses on reducing your home energy usage, and the Home Detox Bootcamp. So I know that's quite a lot to go through to bring you to where I am now, but to say the very least, these days I pretty much eat, breathe and sleep I guess eco parenting and eco living and and I love it. I'm I'm really happy doing what I do. Okay, so just quickly now here are some of the places I've either blogged or been featured and in addition to being a regular eco parenting columnist for my child and nurture parenting magazines. Um, you can see I've been all over the web talking about eco-parenting or eco-living and I'm also on ABC Radio 639 North and West South Australia every Monday morning with my eco-living segment. Now to say the very least, I am truly obsessed with all things eco and that's why I'm really excited to share some of my best secrets that you can apply to your home to ensure that it's a healthy, safe and eco-friendly place to bring up your children. The strategies I'll share with you tonight, I use in my own home and, and, they, and they work. Okay, I'm just, before I get too much further in, I'm just gonna sign, oh, sound is still echoing, video is fine. Okay, I was just checking there to make sure we're all good. Okay, so before I start talking about essential oils in a bit more depth, I'd just love to know which essential oils you're currently using on a regular basis. So feel free to type in the chat box now. I'm just interested to hear when you first started using essential oils. Has it been just recently? Is using essential oils a new concept for you perhaps? Or did you grow up in a home with essential oils? So feel free to share and I'll check in on your responses after the next slide or two. Okay, so let's take a look at what essential oils are and why I think they are essential. So often referred to as nature's living energy, essential oils are concentrated liquids extracted from aromatic plants including shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes and seeds. These natural oils protect the plants from insects, environmental conditions and disease. Now essential oils, they are all around us. So take a lemon or orange for example. If you've ever squeezed their peel and seen the liquid come out, that's the essential oil. Likewise, if you're um, outside and you grab a eucalyptus um, leaf off a eucalyptus tree and, and you, you, know, you might just snap it up and things like that and get some oil on your fingers, that's eucalyptus oil. So when grown, harvested and distilled properly, essential oils can have a wide array of uses and tremendous health benefits. And indeed, they've been a part of everyday life dating back to 4,500 BC in uses such as perfumes and aromatherapy to cooking, cleaning and medicinal purposes. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now I'm just going to check in to the chat box and see which essential oils you're currently using and when you first started using them. Okie dokie. Cool, we've got Kathy uses eucalyptus and lavender. Yeah, great, two of my favourite. Carolyn's has lots, but not too sure how to use them, mostly diffuse them. Yeah, we'll talk about diffusing tonight. That's one of my favourite ways to use them. Tea tree and lemon, that's great, Lily. Okay, Sarah's just started after watching um, my video series, so that's fantastic. So lemon, clove and sandalwood, great. Sonia uses, loves lemon. Yeah, lemon's fantastic, and we will talk about that tonight. Clove tea tree, yep, Tracy's all over it. Belinda loves eucalyptus. Another one, Chris. Tea tree, on guard, Stacy. Sounds like you like doTERRA. That's great too, another good, another good brand there. Lavender and Serenity every day, wow. Cool, there's a few people that are saying none. That's great. Someone's still got the sound echoing. I'm sorry about that. Um, okay. Oh, still more people. Basil, lavender, tea tree, heaps more. Been using them for years. Well done, Bronwyn. Yeah. And great Fiona. And Amanda uses lavender for relaxation. Yeah, that's a really good one for relaxation. And the health house smells nice. Lavender's also got some great um, disinfecting and it's also good for pest control as well. Yeah. 
Great, Rachel. Sorry, I could just read these comments for years. So Lauren wants to start but hoping to get pregnant soon, so I'd like to know which to avoid. Yep, we can chat about that a bit at the end too. And great, and Trina, um, clove tea tree, lavender, lemon, or from doing the home detox. Oh, great to see you back, Trina. Okay, cool. We'll press on. But thanks for your feedback there. That's always It's always good to know where you're at. Okay, so oils ain't oils. Now I'd like to just cover why I think that and why the quality varies between different essential oil brands and just why I choose to use therapeutic grade essential oils. Okay, beware of fake oils. I don't want it to sound too dramatic, but yes, depending what you choose to use essential oils for, you need to be aware that there are some fake oils out there on the market. And by fake, I just mean inferior synthetic and not the real deal. So lavender oil, for example, is the most adulterated essential oil. And this is basically due, due to a high demand, which creates supply problems for many, many essential oil brands. So as a result, some brands are spiked with synthetics or stretched with solvents. And although we're talking about using essential oils in cleaning applications tonight, I just want you to understand that using inferior oils for topical or medicinal reasons can be really dangerous. So it's, it's probably not as important for, for cleaning, like if you're using a eucalyptus oil to clean your toilet and you just want to grab the synthetic ones or not, you know, the not as not pure ones of water soluble ones and everything from the supermarket, that, that's fine. But if you, you know, some applications you really do want to have the nice pure ones and ensure that you're getting the real deal. So for lavender oil, if you're using it, popping it in the bath or diffusing or anything like that, you really want the proper pure lavender oil. And this means buying true lavender. Uh, one of them is lavandula ang angustifolia oil, which is obtained by the steam distillation of the flowers. And even better still, just to make sure you got the real deal, opt for therapeutic grade. Now, I'm going to talk about the brand that I use tonight, which is Young Living, but I know that I know that oils are like sweeping the country at the moment and, you know, a lot of people are, I'm Young Living or I'm doTERRA or whatever, whatever. I, I don't really care as long as you've got really good, both of those brands are good, they're good therapeutic grade and I know that there's some other great brands out there as well that are also therapeutic grade or pure but yeah just opt for the therapeutic grade and you'll be right so it's not don't get you don't get so fixated on the brand but go for therapeutic grade and that way you'll have the purest essential oils at hand okay so just what does therapeutic grade mean there is a significant difference between essential oils that look and smell good and those that are therapeutic grade. So like all things, all good things in life, you get what you pay for with essential oils. And therapeutic grade oils, they cost more there than inferior versions, but they're sourced from the right plants. So that is the true plant or herb, not a hybrid or an uh, other form of, you know, the original plant that was around hundreds of years ago. So they're also prepared in optimum conditions. They're 100% pure. They're unadulterated, uncut, and free of synthetic chemi um, chemicals, pesticides, and heavy metals. And they should also exceed world standards for potency. And so that is that they're the most concentrated forms of essential oils around. So in order to achieve therapeutic grade status, essential oils must achieve industry requirements naturally without excess manipulation and refinement. And so basically they've just got to meet criteria in all of these above four key areas, which are plants, preparation, purity, and potency. So this might all sound a bit complicated, but if you're going to be using, you know, maybe stepping a bit further from your cleaning um, or some of, the, some of the cleaning ones too, but yeah, opt for therapeutic grade. Now, I did mention a few brands that I know that are out there at the moment, and I do use Young Living, uh, and I'm extremely happy with them as well, but they are def they are the purest oils on the market. And, yeah, basically that's why I chose them. I find that their range and quality is superior to any other essential oils that I've encountered, although I do know that there's some other good ones out there. They Young Living really do set the standard for the range. They've got a really wide range and also their purity and potency. Okay, they're also easy to purchase. Now, I live in a really small town in the Australian outback, which is around about 600 kilometres north of Adelaide. There are no local suppliers of quality essential oils here, and so I need to be able to source them online. So I really like Young Living Essential Oils. I just sign up to a distributor. I get my distributor's discount on every purchase, and I just get, my, get them sent to me monthly. 
and you can also get that benefit too you can sign up and get that 24 percent discount um after this webinar i can send you some information on that if you're interested um in buying buying some oils to get started yourself okay so uh, sorry just at that bottom of that slide um there's just a web address there that you can order them online as well but I'm not going to talk too much about that tonight. Um, just wanted to let you know that I can support you if you did want to get some oils and get started. But now you know that what essential oils are and you know that for the best results you need to be investing in therapeutic grade oils, it's time to move on to the four must-have essential oils for your home cleaning routine and my best tips for how to use them. Okay, so many of you spoke about using essential um, eucalyptus oil. And that's fantastic because it, it's one of my favourites too. And I love the results I always get with it and I just can't get enough of the smell. I don't know if it's just because I'm Australian, but I just love the smell of eucalyptus oil. It just takes me back to some of my childhood holidays up in the um, Victorian high country. So it's made by distilling the foliage, so, so the leaves from the eucalyptus trees. It's an excellent natural disinfectant and antibacterial cleanser and deodoriser and can be used to clean every room in the house. And my favourite application, and I know if you did the, the Home Detox video series, you'd already know about this. I use it to clean and disinfect the toilet. And because eucalyptus oil, it's fine down our waterways and our drains going off to our sewage treatment plants and whatnot. It's not going to cause any hassles there as well. So to use it to clean the toilet, you just place a couple of drops in the toilet bowl and scrub with a toilet brush. Wipe the toilet seat and door handle using a eucalyptus oil spray or just a couple of drops of um, the pure eucalyptus essential oil on a clean cloth and you're done. Just take a note that I noticed some of you also said that you use um, melaleuca, which is obviously tea tree oil. It has similar disinfectant capabilities and can be used in similar applications as well. Some of the other ways I use eucalyptus oil in my home include as an ingredient in my homemade wool detergent as an air freshener in my toilet and to remove stubborn stickers from wherever my kids decide to place them. So they've got the really big large mirrors in the room and you'll go down and they've got their name stickers and everything all over them or the sliding door to go outside. Um, you know, when you just can't get that last little bit of the sticker off, eucalyptus, pure eucalyptus oil is amazing. You just wipe it off and it gets all those that gummy residue off. All right. Another one of my favourites is and I, I saw too that some of you are using lemon oil as well it's fantastic it's derived from the rind of the lemons it, it actually takes 3,000 lemons to produce one kilo one kilogram of this amazing refreshing oil and lemon oil contains d-limonene a powerful antioxidant it is also anti-infectious antibacterial antiviral antiseptic and a disinfectant too so it's it's a real versatile oil Lemon essential oil, it's a really, it's a powerful cleaner and it cuts through grease and it's especially useful in the kitchen, laundry and in pest control as well. And if it couldn't get any better, I'm sure you'll also love to know that lemon oil is a natural mood enhancer and it helps promote um, focus and clarity. So just by diffusing this oil in your home, you can clear your mind, overcome fatigue and lack of enthusiasm and help clear some self-doubts as well. So it's easy to see why this oil is fast becoming one of my favourites. So in fact, lemon oil has so many applications in home cleaning, it was difficult to narrow them down to just a few for tonight, but um, here goes. So due to its antibacterial qualities, lemon essential oil is fantastic as a multi-purpose spray. So you, you can do this in various ways. You can make up some nice multi-purpose sprays with some, you know, some lemon um, castor, liquid castor soap as well, but you can just even take it really easy. Like if you're away on holidays, you may be staying in self-contained um, accommodation or even a hotel room, you can just use some pure um, pure lemon, uh, lemon oil, um, pop it in a little bottle with a spritz and use it as a spray or even just wipe down benches with a couple of drops on a, on a rag because it's... um. Yeah, because it's antibacterial, it'll just um, disinfect your benches and things like that and sanitise most surfaces. I also use it as a rinse aid in my dishwasher. It has the added benefit of giving my dishwasher a good clean and removing any grease from glasses and crockery. 
It also deters spiders. They can't stand lemon essential oil. All you need to do is just if you've got a broom, you're sweeping your porch, just whack one or two, a couple of drops on your, on the head of your broom and sweep or even put a pantyhose over the end of your broom and get rid of cobwebs and things with a little bit of lemon oil on them and they won't come back. If you've got kids, lemon oil is great for removing crayon and glues from most surfaces and for disinfecting dishcloths. Like most nights, I just leave my dishcloths in the sink with a bit of water and a couple of drops of lemon essential oil and um, helps disinfect them. You can even add some drops to some um, half a cup of olive oil to make a really good polish for wooden furniture. Like I said, lemon oil, it's really versatile. I love it. Okay, so many of you that did go through my video series would know that I love clove oil and I, I will talk a, a little about, about it tonight but I'm sure that you're all over it. So clove oil or oil of cloves as it's also often referred to is an essential oil extracted from the dried flower bud from the clove plant. It's nature's richest source of um, eugenol, the highest scoring single ingredient tested for its antioxidant capacity on the auric scale. And it's also antibacterial, antiviral, antiseptic, and it's a disinfectant as well. Clove oil, your cleaning uses. Now, again, those that do know me know I do go on and on about clove oil, mainly as it was the essential oil that really helped me break up with my chemical bleach for good. Uh, it's fantastic at removing mold and bacteria in your home. So you simply add a quarter of a teaspoon to one liter of water and spray it on areas of mold in your home and leave it overnight and wipe it down the next day, you will be amazed at the results. I also use clove oil to deter moths and other insects from my wardrobe and drawers. So I just soak cotton wool balls in clove oil and once they're dry, I just place them through my drawers and throughout the wardrobe and just replace them every month or two. And clove oil is also fantastic at improving indoor air quality. Again, if you own a diffuser, you just put a couple of drops in and you can diffuse it for 20 minutes to remove all airborne bacteria, viruses and mold spores from the air in your home. And if you do this, you'll also have the added benefit of keeping moths out of your home too. Now, there is just a word of warning for clove oil because I did notice um, people want, wanting to know which oils to use when they're pregnant. Um, clove oil in a certain concentrations is actually a uterine stimulant, which can obviously bring on some labour, so avoid... Avoid use if pregnant. In, in obviously in a diluted state, in an extremely diluted state, it should be okay. Or if you're getting, you know, your partner to spray the shower and wipe it down, and you're not, you know, going so much in there, that's fine. But um, I definitely wouldn't be putting it on your body, um, on your hands, or you know, touching the, the concentrated oil or anything like that if you're pregnant. Okay, and my fourth oil. Um, in the past, I've had some other oils here, but I, I really can't talk tonight about cleaning in the home with essential oils and not mention thieves because thieves has really, it's really changed the way I live at home and it's changed, made a lot of changes in my family too and I really do love this oil. Okay, so Young Living Thieves Essential Oil Blend. And this is really for people that are new to hearing about Young Living as well. This, this is actually an essential oil blend and it was created based on the historical account of four thieves in France who protected themselves from the Black Plague with cloves and rosemary and other aromatics while robbing victims of the killer disease. So eventually they were captured and they were offered a lighter sentence in exchange for their secret recipe. So the thieves blend from Young Living includes clove, cinnamon bark, rosemary, lemon and eucalyptus radiata, many of the oils we've already been talking about tonight. And it's been specifically blended to offer the same kind of defense. Now Thieves has been universally tested and it's well known for enhancing the complete health and total well-being. In particular, it's highly effective against airborne bacteria. And Thieves is a versatile oil with many, many home cleaning applications. Okay, another one for the mums in the audience tonight. Have you got permanent marker stains on areas in your house? Have a go at getting them off with some thieves or just two to three drops on a cloth and just wiping them down and see how you go. You can also just add a couple of drops to clean water to um, to rinse fresh produce, particularly if you haven't, you know, haven't got some, you bought non-organic apples or something like that. It's great, great to just get rid of the residues on them. 
You can also use it as a sanitizer. Just apply a couple drops to a cloth and wipe over areas that need sanitizing, similar to lemon oil in that sense. But my favorite application is diffusing through my home. And I like diffusing thieves oil a lot better than clove oil because I love the smell of thieves oil. And I guess it's just because it's got the other oils in it as well, it's really, um, it helps to really improve the indoor air quality. Many forms of bacteria and mold spores are linked to common ailments. They travel through the air. So diffusing thieves in particular purifies the air inside your home. And therefore, it also helps to prevent illness and boost immunity of your family members as well. I'm not going to talk too much about the health side tonight, more on environmental tonight. But I did also want to let you know, and I know I've written a guest blog post in the last couple of weeks that I know a lot of people have read how thieves oil in particular transformed my life in my own family. So since I just started diffusing through my home, my youngest, who's now two years old, he, he's gone from being a regular at the doctor's clinic for ear and chest infections to not suffering one since we made the change around about 12 months ago. Um, I just diffuse it a couple times a day. If he's ever coming down with a cold, I diffuse it um, and pop it in his socks and things like that. I really don't leave town at all without my thieves because ever since we've had it, you know, you know what it's like with life with a two-year-old and they can get sick. Um, but pretty much not since my thieves, which has been fantastic. It's really changed our lives because, um, yeah, we were, he was on antibiotics quite a lot, which was very distressing for all of us. Okay, so... There's my four must-have essential oils. I wish I could show you more. There's many more that I love. Like I'm actually wearing, I've actually got two oils on me at the moment. I've got frankincense and I've also got a Valor one, which is sort of just to give me a bit of confidence to do the, do the um, webinar. But, um, yeah, I can talk for hours on this topic, but I just wanted, to, you know, to keep you here for an hour because I've got more that I want to take you through. Um, yeah, so... I really love to show how you can use plenty more oils, not only in your home cleaning routine, but also to improve your health and everyday living. But what I really want to ask you now is a very important question. So I want you to just quickly type into the chat box again, what kind of vision do you have for your home environment? So what would you like to be known? What would you like to be like or known for? How do you want to feel when you walk through the doors of your home after you've been out all morning or all day if you're you know, out working all day? Now, what would it be like if you could create this with ease? How would you feel? So after today's webinar, can you see essential oils supporting the vision you've got for your home? Maybe you want a healthier home, a cleaner home, a less cluttered home. Can you see essential oil supporting that vision? And if so, it's time to step up your home detox. And I'd like to tell you about a very special program I've created that will help you achieve your chemical free home. First, I'm just going to have a quick chat in the look in the chat box and see what you're talking. And I can I can see a couple of questions, so I might just um, answer some of these as well while you're typing in what the vision for your home is and everything. Trina, uh, Trina's reported that she loves a dishwasher powder that I've recommended. It's brilliant. She loves the smell that comes out of the drain when dishwashers are on to. I agree. I love it too. So how long do I diffuse thieves for? Yep, basically um, I, at Mac, just two, twenty up to twenty minutes. Um, twice a day, just morning and evening, particularly in winter if there's some bugs um, in there that I know. Haha, <laughs> cool, Louise, four-year-old loves eucalyptus. Not sure if we're going to have koalas move in. Not really, northwest of RA. Yep, no, I think you're in the wrong part of the world up there. Okay, Louise asked a good question here, mentioning therapeutic grade is free from pesticides. Does this mean that all therapeutic grade is therefore organic? I've got to be careful how I answer that. Um, yes, probably organic, but not necessarily certified organic. And there is, um, again, I'll I can talk specifically on Young Living because that was a question I asked and I went right back to the company. I asked why they weren't labelled as organic as they were saying that they're therapeutic grade and blah, blah, blah. So the answer that I was given is that... Um, they are not. They don't state that they're certified organic for the sole reason that they occasionally import some oils from different countries where the organic standards are less than the US and the company is a US company. So they can't actually certify them as organic because of the different standards in the different countries where they're grown. So rest assured though that they do state that they use organic um, ingredients in all the steps from growing, processing to selling and they don't use any chemical fertilizers or pesticides at all in their farm. So they are organic, they're just not necessarily certified organic. And that might be the case with some other um, 
companies where they grow them in, in different countries if they can't just source them all from their one area. But, yeah, that's a good question. And I'll pop back to the chat box and see what else. Looks like there's heaps, heaps more questions coming in. Okay, yep, Louise has just asked a question. Um, please mention precautions, uh, article precautions of poisoning and risk of reef reproduction. Okay, another great question, Louise. Essential oils, when I talk about chemical-free homes, I'm really referring to uh, free from synthetic chemi chemicals and ones that have really been doctored around. But essential oils are still chemicals. Everything around us is made up of chemicals, if you know what I mean. So, you know, if you get down on an atomic level. So, and essential oils are the most concentrated forms of things. So you need to treat them with extreme care, like as if they are chemicals. So my essential oils are out of reach of, of children. And there are some, obviously, I know eucalyptus oil, a lot of childcare centres won't use eucalyptus oil, just as that precaution in case, obviously, you know, children get into them and things like that. So, um, yeah, to speak it, I'll just go back and look at that question. Yeah, so just be a bit careful. Precautions, um, yeah, poisoning and, yeah, um, with reproduction, I wouldn't, yeah, with, um, with pregnancy, I definitely would be very careful what you were applying topically to your body. Um, I'm about to talk about my Home Detox Boot Camp and one of the contributors that I've got coming on board with this next round of the Home Detox Boot Camp, we've got actually one of Australia's best doctors, so a leading fertility expert. She's a gynaecologist and endocrinologist as well, so she'll be on board to answer any of these questions um, because obviously my expertise is in the environmental science and chemistry part of it, so I'm not a doctor per se, but I've got a doctor joining the team, which is fantastic. Okay, so, yeah, chemical-free and calm. There's all the, yeah, calm. People want their home to be happy, calm, fresh, chemical-free, calm, less cluttered. Yeah, I want all that too. And Amanda also says she finds oils essential in helping her mood. Yeah, her nose is definitely well tuned into toxic cleaners and sprays. And yeah, I'm the same. If I do walk down the laundry aisle in the in the um, supermarket, I feel yeah, I really struggle with that. Okay, Sarah's just asked um, using lemon oil for rinse aid. How do you actually do it? I just actually when I'm popping the dishwasher on i just pop a couple of drops in the dishwasher so it goes through the wash cycle as well so it helps clean it but also just rinse it and they come out cleaner as well all right cool i will press on and um, i'll come back to questions at the end okay so love your visions for your home calm clean nice smelling and chemical free and we all know that our homes, our very own living environment, it's not the right place for toxic chemicals. And yet there are new products all the time that promise the world, yet don't tick the boxes for our own health and that of the environment as well. And I'm the first to um, to let you know too that just all, there's so many eco cleaners out there on the market now, but they're, you know, they're not all eco cleaners. If you get really snazzy on how you read the uh, read labels and things like that, you can, you know, pull them apart pretty quickly. And that's why I created the Home Detox Boot Camp. So this program is the ultimate course for you to remove toxic chemicals from your home and create the chemical-free living space you desire and deserve. So the Home Detox Boot Camp, it's truly unique and I know you're going to love it because everyone that's already gone through the course has and it's actually so much better now than when I last ran it six months ago. I've been working my butt off to add so many new features and get it in a new website and everything like that so it it's it's looking really hot now in this program i teach you how to reduce the toxicity of your home be it breaking up with chemicals in your bathroom bathroom laundry kitchen beauty cabinet or even pest control or even improving your indoor air quality or this round from in, even including to reducing your electromagnetic fields or helping you break up with plastics in the kitchen. You'll then learn how to replace products or the way you're currently doing things with safe, effective and natural alternatives. And it's so important to realise that it's not just simply about replacing your existing chemical products with eco products and then having a household of commercial eco cleaning products, for example. That might be good options for some applications um, and, you know, and of course, we're all time poor and we all want products of convenience. So you mightn't want to make up absolutely everything and 
you know, for example, I will buy some organic makeup. I'm not really into making all my makeup, for example, but um, it, most of the time in the Home Detox Boot Camp, I'll be pointing you to options where you can make things yourself from readily accessible, cheap and natural products. And there'll be other options as well, but there'll always be a how to make your own option there. And therefore, you know, all the ingredients and things. Inside the Home Detox Boot Camp, there's a big focus on quality content and each module contains a video, recorded training slides, audio files, workbook and recipe guides, plus you get access to your own, very own network of like-minded people and myself and our contributors in the closed Facebook Home Detox community. So basically, I give you the information you need to effectively remove chemicals from your home and the support to make it happen. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about the program and what you can expect each week. Okay, in Module 1, which is Healthy Home and Chemistry 101, I provide an overview of chemicals found in our homes. I take you through the health and environmental impacts of common chemicals and list natural alternatives to these. I even cover a little bit about the history of chemicals and how and when our dependence on them in our home started. You know, it's not like we were using all these products a thousand years ago or even, you know, even a hundred years ago. It's pretty much been fairly recent. In module two, laundry love, I take you through the chemistry of washing clothes. We look at how soaps and detergents work, including the importance of surfactants, the role of enzymes and builders in commercial detergents and alternatives to common laundry detergents. So you'll be making your own laundry powder or liquid if you prefer, wool mix, fabric softeners, stain soakers and stain removal sprays and, and things like that. In module three, Kitchen Blitz, we'll cover germs in the kitchen, where they're found and how best to deter them. We'll take a look at our love affair with plastics and how they're impacting our health and that of the environment. And you'll be making quite a lot of your natural kitchen cleaners. Uh, now I saw in the comments before you saw Trina talking about the dishwasher powder um, that she, that obviously she's done the Home Detox Boot Camp and she loves that one. And yeah, I love that one too. And also dishwashing liquid if you're hand washing, um, hand washing your dishes, how to clean your oven and all kitchen appliances, stainless steel appliances, blah, 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 coffee makers. Plus we'll be taking a heap of steps towards breaking up with plastics in your kitchen and our and we'll have a guest contributor, naturopath, Jessica Donovan from Energetic Mama will be running a masterclass on steps you can take to improve your health and well-being naturally. So really more looking at diet and how to um, get toxins out of your foods, out of what you eat. In module four, we'll tame your bathroom and toilet. So we look at problem areas and cover natural alternatives for mold removers, showers, bath and window cleaners, even how to clean your shower head and remove lime, lime scale naturally. Okay, module five. It's quite a, a meaty module, module five. I've really added to it um, in the last few months since I last ran the course. I'll show you, how, show you how to detox some of the general cleaning jobs around your home. We have got a big focus on improving your indoor air quality and um, cleaning your windows, floors, carpets and walls as a start. But we'll also cover a poorly understood area of contamination in our homes and that is from our Wi-Fi's and our electronics. This is a really, um, I guess, a big growing field and one that I don't have a strong background in. However, that's another reason why I've brought on board another uh, another expert and contributor to the e-course. So, so we've got our, a bonus masterclass by our healthy home expo, expert, sorry, Nicole Bilschma. And she'll be um, taking us through um, how to, basically how to get on top of the um, radiation in our homes from Wi-Fi and electronics and steps you can take there to minimise your exposure. Module six is we're gonna be looking at the toxicity of commercial pest control products. We'll cover natural alternatives to defer moths, ants, spiders, silverfish and more and you'll make your own personal insect repellent. Module 7. Basically the Home Detox Boot Camp it wouldn't be complete without taking a look at what we feed our skin day in and day out because you're not, you know, I think it, you're not, we're not what we eat. We're what we eat, what we put on our skin, what we put in our hair and um, the air that we breathe as well. So, yeah, we really need to take a look at our personal care. Okay, so in this module, you'll learn natural alternatives for products such as shampoos and conditioners, um, even personal care products for that time of the month, 
and making your own body wash and things like that. And we'll have a bonus masterclass and actually a good ebook as well provided by natural beauty therapist Jody De Corrado. Okay, and a chemical-free home, this is our last module, requires an, an ongoing commitment. And in our final module, Living Chemical-Free, The Way for Life, I'll guide you through the safe and correct disposal of chemicals that you no longer need. And I'll also share my tips on how to manage the temptation to return to old habits, how to get your partners and friends and other family members aligned to your vision for a home without chemical um, toxic chemicals, or even even if you can't get them aligned, just how you can help manage that as well and not take the negativity on board. All right, so how's it sounding so far? It wouldn't be a fantastic program if I didn't include some really cool bonuses. So first, you get lifetime access into the program for as long as I run the course, which I'm tending to be for quite a while. So once you invest in the Home Detox Bootcamp, it's yours. You don't need to, it's not like you sign up to a 12-week, you know, intense body challenge or something like that and you have to, you do it for 12 weeks and then six months later you might put on a bit more weight and you've got to pay to do it again. It's not like that. You can do it and come back to it and do it as long as you want and still stay in the forum, still stay in the membership site and you'll also, one of the really cool things about that is that every, after every time I run the course, I'll be obviously taking feedback and upgrading it and improving it as I go so you'll get updates you know you'll get all those free updates when I bring on new contributors you know even if you do the course now and in two years time I bring on more contributors you get access to all of that you'll get direct support in the closed Facebook community so if you're ever stuck or have questions we'll make sure you get the support you need so I'll be running weekly Q&A threads where I'll be live in there and you can ask me any question on home detox under the sun and if I don't know, I'll, I've obviously got my expert contributors on coming on board, but, and if, you know, we'll get it answered for you either way. But it's also support from everyone else doing the course so you can just support each other because there's only one of me, but there'll be many of you to support each other. Plus, there's many other bonuses. You'll have my SOS stain guide, a lifesaver in the laundry, and the Home Detox Recipe Guide, but a new feature in the membership site this time will be um, a home recipe index. So, you know, it's just like you can search and, and pick them up there and just print them off um, if you need to print, print them off one by one. And at the end of the course, you'll also receive a handy booklet that's got all the recipes in one location. I have talked about our contributors and I find this really exciting because these four ladies are fantastic. So not only will you have access to me during the Home Detox Bootcamp, but for the very first time, I'm joined by a group of highly acclaimed contributors who will be sharing their knowledge and will make themselves available at set times through the course. It's obviously they're not going to be in the forum every time. It might just be for the module that they're in for that week. They'll be available and in the forum and you can hashtag them and ask questions. So first of all, we've got Dr. Natasha Andriadis, and she's a fertility specialist, gynecologist, and certified reproductive endocrinologist endocrinologist, just only one of a handful in Australia. So she has a special interest in environmental medicine and nutrition. She's passionate about helping couple, couples conceive healthy babies and so she's really the go-to expert. So if you've got any questions about chemicals and how they're impacting obviously fertility or developing fetuses or anything like that, she's the go-to. So in an exclusive interview for the course participants, she'll share her thoughts and theories on how a home detox can boost your fertility and as I said, she's also our resident doctor and will be available at designated times to answer any specific environmental medicine questions. Jessica Donovan, she's a respected naturopath and women's holistic health expert. She's passionate about guiding, inspiring and empowering women to take charge of their well-being so they can become a more energetic, calm and joyful versions of themselves. As mentioned before, Jessica will run a bonus masterclass where she'll guide you through steps you can take in food prep and storage to reduce your chemical exposure, but also some tips in the kitchen and in your diets to um, improve your well-being naturally. Okay, so Jody De Corrado is a beauty therapist, a mother of three, and the creator behind Jolly Natural Skin Care. She's an expert in natural skin care solutions for different skin types. And Jodie will share some of her best recipes and tricks of the trade to help you detox your beauty cabinet. 
in our exclusive masterclass. She'll also just discuss some of the major chemi many chemicals that can be found in skincare and their side effects and point you in the direction of high performing natural alternatives. Okay, and last but not least, I'm really excited to have Nicole on board. She's a healthy home expert, the best-selling author of Healthy Homes, Healthy Families, and founder of the Australian College of Environmental Studies, where people can basically study uh, an area called building biology, which is all the health inside our inside our buildings with, um, like I said, indoor air pollution and electromagnetic um, conditions and everything like that. So Nicole's actually going to be running an exclusive masterclass on electromagnetic radiation and what you can do in your homes to reduce your exposure. Okay, what people are saying, we've just got a couple of testimonials here from Amanda McLeod. She says, I absolutely love this course and have recommended to anyone who's wanting to listen. I used to think my home wasn't clean unless I could smell bleach and now I don't think it's clean unless I can smell eucalyptus. This course is practical and the changes once implemented are very easy to adhere to and once you've embraced the home detox way of cleaning, you'll never look back. We've also got Didi Strebel. Um, she's very interested in sustainable living and lowering her chemical exposure. So when she saw the Home Detox Boot Camp, she signed up straight away. She says the course is very informative and the chemical-free options are practical and effective. The closed Facebook community is lovely and supportive and Laura responded to all of her questions within a few hours. And she hopes that more people join. Um, she was actually in our very first group that's gone through. So she wants hundreds more people to join so we can really get on board to restore our health and environment. Okay, so I want to ask you what should this program cost because out of all the people that have followed me for some time, I asked them a little while back, you know, what would you pay for this program? And a lot of them said um, in the high 400s, that's a good price for all the content that's included, especially because it's a lot of how, you know, so much how to and you've got a lot of experience and training in the area. So they said around about high 400 to be fair for this course. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure it was really available to anyone that really wanted to dive in. So I decided to charge $349 for this course. So that includes your lifetime access and the new custom built membership site and closed Facebook community, access to all the modules, workbooks, videos, training slides, recipes, e-guides, contributors and me. But the really cool thing is I want to make it a no-brainer for you to sign up and get the eco-friendly healthy home you deserve. So for a really limited time, I'm going to be offering the Home Detox Boot Camp at the low early bird special of $229. Now, I appreciate that this might also be a stretch for some. So there's, for the first time ever, I've also got a payment plan available. So where you can purchase, um, and the payment plans for obviously during the early bird stage, and there's also a separate pay payment plan for if people join up after this early bird stage, which ends in 12 days time. So for example, if you join under the payment plan in the early bird stage, you'll be making three payments. So a deposit of $89 and then two monthly payments of $89. So um, yeah, I hope that would make it a lot more available for people as well. And our early bird special ends Monday the 11th of May. Okay, just some more testimonials from people that have gone through the course. So Belinda says that the Home Detox Bootcamp helped us finally get rid of chemicals in our home for good. She tried to go chemical free several times before but really got overwhelmed by the amount of info out there from a lot of unqualified sources. And so she said it's difficult to know who to trust and where to turn for the right advice. Her two kids want to be involved in their day to day activities and she loves being able to have them involved in household chores now without the worry of exposure to toxins. So thanks for taking the hard work out of going chemical free for me. Thanks Belinda. And another one here from Bernadette Burton. And she's another mother with four children. And she says that this is a course created by someone with extensive chemical knowledge and experience. Well done, Laura, on creating an ecoceptional course that can be easily followed and maintained by those at home. And she says those who are sitting on the fence and unsure whether to sign up, I say go for it. It's definitely worth every cent. So take advantage of the fact someone's done all the research and created easy to follow recipes. Thanks, Bernadette. Okay, so here's the deal. You'll need to go to www.homedetoxbootcamp.com to register for the Home Detox Bootcamp. And I also have a special bonus for those of you on this webinar live tonight. So anyone who joins the Home Detox Bootcamp in the next hour, so basically on this live call, but I'm just going to let it go for a little bit longer. So say 
Uh, so next hour, so we're 9 o'clock here, so that's 9.30, so so hang on, let me think. So 10 o'clock here, so it'll be 10.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time this evening. So if you join up in the next hour, you'll receive a free Young Living Therapeutic Grade Lemon Essential Oil in the mail as a special welcome gift for me. And I haven't actually included it in the slides here, but I've also got um, some early sign-up bonuses for the first three people to join the program. So first person gets a, a home diffuser and the Young Living Thieves Oil. That's worth, um, that package alone is worth about $230. Second person that signs up um, receives a free place on naturopath Jessica Donovan. She's got two e-courses. One's called Delicious Wellbeing, which is really for women um, improving their diets um, naturally, but for family-friendly recipes as well. Or she's got one called Natural Super Kids. Um, improving the immunity of your children's e-course. Um, so if you're second person, you you can choose which course you'll do there. And the third person that joins up will get a selection of four essential oils, I think it is, um, my top four favourites as well. So some great sign-up bonuses tonight. But if you do sign up in the next hour, you'll get the early bird price of $2.29. You can do it on a payment plan and you'll also get a free lemon essential oil from Young Living popped in the mail to say thank you for jumping in early. Now, here's another great thing about the Home Detox Boot Camp. When you invest, you've got my personal 21 days money back guarantee after the course starts. So meaning you can try out the course and if you're not loving it, you can get your money back, no questions asked. Now, there are um, a few of the functions in the membership site that I'll talk about. So the recipe index and things like that, they won't be available until after that 21 days. Um, you basically would go through the first three modules and if you're not happy, I'll give you your money back. Um, yeah, so yeah, money back guarantee there. Now you might be asking, okay, Laura, who's this training actually for? I'm not quite too sure if I fit it or not. So if you're concerned about your children's exposure to chemicals in your home, or you're worried about your exposure to chemicals in your home, particularly if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, this course is perfect fit for you. Maybe your children have, or yourself, you might have eczema, asthma, dermatitis. You might even just get hives on your hands when you're washing the dishes or even ASD, um, and you're, you'd love to reduce the chemical load on your children's bodies, then this course, of course, is it's a no-brainer for you. Perhaps on a more an environmental, not health side, you'd love to reduce your family's waste and reduce your grocery bill, or you'd like to reclaim some cupboard space and reduce the number of commercial cleaning products in your home. This course will certainly help you achieve all that. Or maybe you're a health and environmental professional and you're all over why you should do this, you just haven't gotten around to figuring out the how yet. Um, you know, you're busy working during the day and you just haven't got to it yet. And you want someone credible to just tell you what to do so you can finally walk the talk on having a healthy eco home. Well, you're in the right place too and I'd love to have you on board. If you're willing to learn about natural alternatives to commercial cleaning products and are positive, open and prepared to invest a little bit of extra time up front during the transition from chemicals to homemade natural products, then the Home Detox Boot Camp is for you. One of the questions I do get, people ask how much time would I be spending a week? Really, it's about an hour that you'd put aside to, to read the workbook or watch the slides and then go and make some of your recipes. Okay, we're almost at the end now. Hang in there with me. So now each Home Detox Boot Camp module includes video trainings. I've already mentioned this, slides, workbooks, some audio files and activity sheets. And you'll have lifetime access um, in the membership site. You also have your own username and password so you can access these whenever you want after each module is released of course. So, you know I'm not you're not just going to log in and all my uh, modules are going to be there. I'll do them week by week as you do the course and of course once you do the course you can log in and access them whenever you want. So six months down the track, 12 months down the track. So this means that you can take it at your own pace and you don't need to get stressed about falling behind because there is no behind. You're not going to run out of time to do it. All the materials there and you can, you know, oh, I feel like cleaning my bathroom today. What does Laura recommend? Blah, blah, blah. You can just log in and get the recipes and off you go. Okay, now once you invest, you'll receive an introductory email with your first workbook that includes everything you need to know to get started. This round of Home Detox Boot Camp kicks off on Wednesday the 27th of May and enrolment closes at 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday the 25th of May. So I'm just saying don't wait until next year for a chemical-free home. Uh, I'm not too sure when I'm next going to run this program now. It's Like I said, it's been six months between courses now. 
So it could be another six months. It could be a little bit longer. Um, I'm launching my personal brand, lauratrotter.com, in the next few months as well. So that it all depends how that goes to when I next run this again. So just saying if you really want to grab it, um, get the support involved in, in building a home um, chemical-free home, jump on board now and you'll love how you can save loads of cash on commercial cleaning products, improve our environment and boost your family's health at the same time. So just to sum it all up, the Home Detox Bootcamp, it contains eight action-focused training modules to guide you towards achieving a chemical-free home. You'll also be supported through a closed Facebook community by myself and other contributors and also everyone else doing the course and you'll have lifetime access to the content and free updates in the exclusive Home Detox membership site for as long as the course is run. Plus you'll also receive your bonus guides, your SOS stain guides, Home Detox recipe guides and the Home Detox recipe index in the membership site. And basically I really look forward to helping you create your vision for your healthy Un, you know, uncluttered, calm homes and chemical-free homes really soon. So I'd also, basically now I just want to open it up to any questions that you've had. So I will go back through the chat room and see if you've answered any more questions since I last answered some. So happy to take any more questions on essential oils tonight or just home detox in general or, yeah, essential oils. Let me have a chat. Oh, Stacey says she's just signed up. So excited. It's everything that I need right now and have been trying to accomplish. Thank you, Stacey. I can't wait to work with you. Okay, how, Chris asks, how do the modules work, as in how quickly should you be getting through them? Um, again, this comes down to your personal circumstances. Um, um, you saw one of the testimonials there from Bernadette and she's got four children and one of them was a, was born last year. So... She took a little bit longer through the um, to get through the modules, but like I said, she just worked through them at her own pace, asked questions when she had them in the forum. We answered her questions and she was just fine like that. So you can stick to them and do them week by week. One thing I didn't mention is we do the four weeks, then we have a week of, um, a break week in the middle, um, and then we do the last four weeks. That rest week is just basically to give people a week off or a chance to catch up if they're feeling, you know, a bit anxious um, that they have fallen behind in their own mind but saying you're not falling behind. Um, but, yeah, so you just you can still just work through them but roughly allow an hour or so each week to do the modules. Okay, I'll just scroll down a little bit further. Sorry, there's been quite a few questions since I last checked. So... Um, what have we got here? Sorry, there's... Okay, Lily asks, is it bad to store essential oils in plastic? I've been finding it difficult to source glass spray bottles. Okay, I can answer that too. Some essential oils will degrade some plastic. So a lemon essential oil is one that can degrade the plastic and also, yeah, so or also some of them stick to the plastic as well. I do recommend glass spray bottles. And one of the functions in the Home Detox site, actually, if you go there now and if you're having a look and if you, say, add add the you know the the boot camp to your shopping cart you'll see some things will pop up um some products that might be recommended um i've actually added a home detox store into the membership site it's not a massive big store and stocks everything but in previous rounds i've had a recommended product list that's include glass bottles and some essential oils and like things like citric acid or bulk bicarb and things like that and people have then gone to four or five different suppliers all over the internet or local suppliers to get them from this round on i've just saw i've put together you can buy a lot of these consumables just in the Home Detox membership site and I'll just ship it off to you in, in within the week or whatever. And glass bottles and sprays are one of them because that was the thing that people found the hardest to source. So I've got them on board so you can just grab them in the shop as well um, just at recommended retail price. Okay, Trina says, yes, the course is brilliant. I'm very excited to see the updated website. Thank you so much, Trina. I, you know, And that's one thing I really need to thank the girls that have gone through the course so far that have given me great feedback and in turn, um, I've then gone away and helped act on that feedback to improve it and obviously give them more return on their investment over time as well. Like I said, I'm wanting to improve it after each round and, you know, it's 12 months old now and, yeah, I'm prepared to work and, yeah, make it the best home detox course out there. Oh, there's Jane saying, Trina put me onto this. Great. Okay. 
sorry there's quite a lot i'm sorry if i'm missing any here so pam's another okay pam's done the course before really enjoyed the course as well looking to seeing the website thanks pam um very excited simple changes okay people talking amongst themselves that's great <laughs> all right jane says i really worry about glass spray bottles as i do seem to drop things a lot would and so would plastic spray bottles be okay look yes in a nutshell yes we do dilute them um it's just one or two that you might want to have some glass um for example the clove i've got my clove and um a water one in a plastic spray bottle and it's it's you know it's not a problem at all um yeah if you're worried about dropping i've got tiles too and i worry about dropping or actually my husband he's a cricket player and he's so coordinated on the cricket pitch but he drops everything in the kitchen um or wherever <laughs> but anyway um Oh yeah, Pam's um, said here New Directions has a great range of glass bottles or you could cycle, yep, glass bottles of Coke and that's true too. And New Directions is where I've recommended people in the past to buy their glass bottles from and I've actually ended up buying the ones that I do re recommend from them and we'll have them in the Home Detox shop because um, the thing with New Directions, they do offer wholesale prices to the public but their shipping prices are quite high. So what I'm just going to bring some of their products in the little home detox store and you can obviously buy essential oils and other things as well and so it's not like you have to buy from three or four different places uh yep i've just said the lemon yeah lemon's good to have in the glass aluminium spray bottles can also work yep train is excited to see nicole's contribution yeah nicole's great um Mm, so I'm just thinking, how do the modules work? Oh, yeah, we've already answered that one. How quickly do you go through a bottle when you use it regularly? Okay, now that depends. Probably the best one, the one that I go through the most is my multi-purpose spray that I use in the kitchen and I probably make it up every two to three weeks. So if you're looking at uh, one of the things that some people get concerned about is how much time are they going to be spending to to make all these products to um there are ones for example the the laundry detergents um i'll give you three different options for you two or two powder and one liquid that you can make if you've got oh my gosh you know i am in the thermomix cult i have a thermomix i will admit if you've got a thermomix or one of those other food processes that you can grind your soaps it's very very quick and the same for your dishwashing liquid, um, dishwasher powders and things like that. If you have got a Thermomix or a food processor or Bellinis or other ones that are called, it just takes a, a minute basically to make things. If you're hand grading soaps or you can buy some soap flakes and things like that, um, things might take a little bit longer to make. But I make them in bulk. You know, I'm not saying that I'm, I don't, I don't call myself lazy or call myself efficient. If I'm going to make something, I'll make a big batch and make it every few months basically. And you might find that it's similar for you. Yeah, Louise says she enrolled last round. Life got in the way, took months to get through it and still made great changes at home. That's good. Thanks, Louise, for that feedback. Great, Cassia. Um, yeah, excited. Thank you for jumping on board. So you'll all get your lemon oils as well and maybe some of the early bird bonuses because this is, um, yeah, just opened up the sales page today. Okay. Oh, here we go. So Trina's put a great testimonial there. She's talking about the dishwasher powder recipe that she used. Um, it's worked so well that she decided then and there she'd do the course. So she worked out what she's spending on dishwasher tablets and worked out the savings well and truly paid for the course. And she paid full price last round. Well, that's, uh, you hadn't told me that before, Trina. That's great. I'll have to get a testimonial from you. And Bronwyn, yes, I will send out information on Young Living. Definitely. Um, everyone that signed up to the webinar i'll probably send out the email tomorrow because um my kitchen is banked up i've got all my dishes from tea like i said husband's down in the back end of the house not doing dishes because i didn't want him making any any noise in the kitchen um but it sounds like my boys have gone to sleep which is great oh the side has just dropped out oh i hope that's just your computer jane and not everyone else's Australian Eucalyptus Company, Chris. I don't know Eucalyptus Oil Company. I have heard of them, but I haven't looked into them. But that's um something I will look into. Thanks for telling me, Chris. 
you put me on the spot there. All right, I think I've answered all the questions. I'm sorry if I've missed any. I'll just let you pop any more questions that you've got in there and I'm just going to quickly jump on the site. Maybe there's like thousands of people on there and it crashed, but it shouldn't have. <laughs> Um, oops, hang on, I'm typing that. Like I said, I've got three screens going. I'm typing on the wrong keyboard. Whoops. And detox boot camp. I hope the site's still up and I can see it. If, um, I'll just see who told me that the site had dropped. No, the site's working on my computer that I've just opened up. So I don't think it's dropped out unless it's just dropped out in your shopping cart. Um, so Jane, if it has dropped out and um, your your you know you hasn't gone through, just shoot me an email. Um, I think I've got my email. I've got any questions there? Yeah, just down there. So email me just at Laura at sustainerhome.com.au, and I'll um answer them are oil safe for septics yes they are rachel um you can use your if you're using eucalyptus oil to clean the toilet it's definitely safe for septics other toilet cleaners i recommend also um, um obviously we can use some bicarbs and things like that in the toilets as well okay so sonia asked diluting oils in water you need to add a detergent to make it miscible some things uh yes but others others i don't um some of my like multi or um some sprays i don't um my i'm just trying to think some of the recipes i've got i do have like a liquid castor soap and that i use as well and the, uh, the floor cleaner as well so yes some of them i do have sonia uh, and that's in the recipes there as well but others like um like if you say make up a list a little air freshener with some water and some oils i don't then in it like a little spritzer Okay, we'll just wait and see if there's any more questions. But yeah, and I would love to just thank you all so much for coming and listening tonight. I've really enjoyed chatting to you uh, on a topic that um, obviously I love. Um, like I said, oils, I don't use essential oils for all of my cleaning applications in the home. I use them for some. And I, and I do love what I use use them for. Um, yeah, so, but and in the Home Detox Boot Camp, I'll take you through a lot of the other, obviously I've shown you tonight, a lot of the other um, cleaners and, and, and um, chemical-free ways of cleaning. So Stacey asks, can you make castor soap? Um, in the Home Detox Boot Camp, I point you to, I, I just recommend we use Dr. Bronner's, but of course you can use other ones out there. And um, yeah, I haven't actually made castle soap, but um, I dare say you definitely can. And I know some people, you know, you can make it, uh, your olive oil soaps and things like that as well. But I haven't actually got that included in the boot camp. But if that's something that people are interested, we can always add things. Okay, Jane. So yeah, your iPad's frozen. Great. So that was sorry, not great that your iPad froze, but great that um, it wasn't the site. Thanks, Amanda, for that feedback. The session's been informative. It's great to have you on board. Thanks, Sarah. So I'm just wrapping up now. So um, feel free if you've finished finished um, listening. You're more than welcome to leave. Well, you're welcome to leave whenever, but thank you. And I've really enjoyed talking to you as well. So thank you very, very much. And I'll catch you later. And I hope, hope to see you on board in the Home Detox Boot Camp. If not now, maybe down the track as well.